All right, about time for another collection update. I've had some uh, decent changes in the past couple uh, months here, so let's just get on into it. Uh, starting over here on this shelf again, in the uh, the Unicron Trilogy Autobots shelf, we've got some new stuff here. Uh, one of my goals for this month was to uh, to get the rest of my sort of like canon definitive figures out for display. And the only things that I didn't currently have on a display were uh, several Minicons, so I've kind of got those added sporadically throughout, uh, including but not limited to the uh, some, some Minicons here that I added to this display, mainly like the partner mini cons of like the main cast of armada even if you know not all of those characters have like representations on the shelf just to get the, the main mini cons out there also i've got hot shot here holding uh the the sky boom shield i only have that version of the sky boom shield not the more show accurate yellow one but uh yeah that's what uh that's what that looks like and then obviously got the new jolt that came with the uh the pulse con pack there very very good little figure i have him with the uh the main hot shot rather than the one that it actually came with. And then the only other change here is that I did get Cybertron Clocker this month, which I'm uh, putting with Override there. Not not a great figure, honestly, Clocker, but, um, you know, I I've got him. He's there. Um, and then there's uh, some changes to the MicroMaster displays. I don't think maybe there's any ones, any changes to the Autobot side. To the Decepticon side, uh, similar to, similarly, these ones, I ended up moving the, um, the like, you know, the main partner uh, cast of Armada uh, minicons to somewhere else. So I've just kind of filled them in with some other teams here, like the uh, one version of the Destruction uh, uh, minicon team back there, and then also the two uh, cars that came with uh, with Armada Predacon, the repaint of Transmetal Megatron. So eh, not huge ch changes, but it is a change. And then down here with the kind of like old Cybertron shelf, I added uh, the new Nova Prime here, which I, I think fits in really well with uh, Orion Pax and the Cybertronian Ratchet there. I also gave him a uh, the sword that I, it came with originally. It's either, it's a leader class. It's either Age of Extinction or The Last Knight. I'm not really sure I got it as a gift, um, but the sword that came with him, I feel like that works pretty well for Nova Prime. And uh, that's it for this shelf. Um, on this shelf over here, uh, nothing different on the top two shelves here. That's all the same. I decided to actually move back the uh, the movie three or the uh, season three movie Decepticons back over to this shelf. They were on this kind of like thinner brown shelf for a while, which I ended up repurposing somewhere else. So move these guys back over here to be closer to the uh, the movie Autobots and then also the uh, the Quintessons over here on this shelf to kind of have a little, you know, L-shaped movie block here, just to kind of get those all next to each other. And then uh, where what was previously here was the uh, Decepticons that were like originally from other continuities. And I just moved them down here. And then we've also got a few new figures in with this. Obviously we've got uh, Dreadwing from Transformers Prime. We got Cascade from the comics. And then we've got uh, Shadow Striker from Cyberverse. So I added them in here. We got a, a number of new figures that have been like slowly been adding to this shelf. I might eventually like move the uh, the comic guys off somewhere else. So like Cascade and Tarn and G Axis is all that is right now, just to give the rest of them have a little bit, you know, a little bit more space to breathe. But for now, I think that works. Uh, the Wreckers, I think we're down here before. I can't totally remember. Um, and then where my Shattered Glass stuff used to be, I moved the... Uh, the uh, Unicron Trilogy Decepticons. And likewise, this is where I ended up putting those uh, partner minicons, the ones that I currently had out and the ones that I didn't. I think actually maybe all of these were in that MicroMaster display before, but now they're over here and otherwise it's just the same figures. And then Quintessons are the same. The uh, season one Decepticons here are now finally complete with, uh, with Bombshell being added to the Insecticons there. So that's really great to actually have this shelf kind of like fully done. I mean, you know, I, I guess we're going to be replacing uh, Frenzy soon, soon with the uh, the Studio Series one. But other than that, I, at least there is a representation of every Season 1 Decepticon there, so that's nice to see. And then the Season 2 stuff is the same. Same with the Decepticons. I've moved over the, uh, the Rainmakers over here to be kind of closer to the Season 2 stuff. To again, kind of, you know, get a little Season 2 weirdly shaped block here. And then likewise, I moved... Uh, you know, the Cybertronian female Autobot, so Alita-1 and her crew 
down here. Um, I'm not totally thrilled with this because I just, I don't think that they fill up this cubicle very well. So I think I'm gonna want to move them to a smaller shelf eventually, but it, it's fine for now. Um, again, just making this like weird little season two block here. And then over here, this is where I moved the uh, the alternate universe guys and I put the new like PulseCon PowerLinks hotshot with them just cause you know, I thought he fit in fairly well with them. And then I moved my uh, shattered glass display back down here. I liked it better when these were like separate rather than all being on the same shelf. So I kind of separated out the Decepticons and the Autobots again and put the, uh, you know, the like alt universe maximal guys somewhere else. And then again, vaguely, this is now fitting in with the like alternate universe theme kind of being with that shelf. So I think that that works out uh, fairly well there. And then down at the bottom here, I just moved the bounty hunters down to, uh, to this cubicle here and then sort of reintegrated uh, Nemesis Prime into this cubicle. Um, and again, just to get a few more mini cons that I didn't previously have out, out I've got a mirror there, the uh, combined mode of working crockwise, crockwise, crosswise, you know, the mini cons that came with Armada Sideswipe. Again, just fitting in with the sort of like evil, but not necessarily Decepticons uh, shelf. So I think that that works out pretty well. And then one of the bigger changes is um, this entire shelf I moved over and uh, decided to make it the new Scramble City shelf, whereas I had that, you know, that corner shelf at the end of the display as the Scramble City shelf before. I kind of swapped the places of those guys just because I think that that works a little bit better. I think that uh, Menasaur makes for a nice, better, like, use of space on the top of the shelf rather than the Japanese Autobots, which were a little bit cramped up there. And then likewise, where Menasaur was before felt a little bit too open, whereas, you know, the, uh, the, uh, Japanese guys, I think, use that space a lot better. And then otherwise, it's just the same. So we've got the, you know, the Stunticons as Metasaur, and then the Combaticons, and then the, uh, the I almost said Rescue Bots, the, uh, the uh, what are they called? Protectobots, and uh, the Aerial Bots here. So I think that that works well, too. And again, now kind of making this weird, like, very weirdly shaped a block of season two guys all connected together kind of around other things. I think that that works out pretty well. And then moving over to this shelf, the kind of Japanese Maximals. The only difference here is uh, I've added Baboom, who I got this month to kind of fit in with them, but otherwise they're the same. Uh, the show Maximals and Predacons are all the same as they were before. Uh, they'll be changing next year whenever we get Tiger Hawk and that new uh, that new silver silver bolt that was just leaked. I'm pretty excited about uh, both of those. Uh, the season four Autobots are the same as they were before. I think. Yeah, I don't see anything different. I guess we are going to be getting Sure Shot sometime this year, so he'll be added in with them. And then the only difference with the season three Autobots is that uh, I decided to take Eject out of a uh, Blaster's chest and put him over here. But otherwise, they're all the same. And then moving on to the hanging uh, Beast Wars shelf. Uh, only difference with these guys is I got Antagony recently, so I put her up there and then had to move uh, Jetstorm down here and kind of, you know, move guys along just so they, that he could actually fit in there. But otherwise, they're the same. And then one of the uh, the biggest changes to the Canon display this month is I replaced that uh, that kind of like black table shelf with this, I think, much more dynamic uh, shelf that's like mostly the same surface area as that table had, just kind of divided into different areas. So again, it's a lot of the same figures, but uh, I, I think that that just looks a little bit more dynamic. That table was a little bit ratty and, you know, uh, kind of collected dust really easily. Um, but yeah, no, so at the top here, we've got, uh, again, mostly the season four um, Decepticons, kind of as they were before, I guess, plus Overlord and Black Zarek, who aren't really season four, but the rest of them, for the most part, are. And then down on this shelf here, I ended up moving the uh, the scavengers down here. Again, you know, kind of having this fire standing up here on the corner so he could be part of both of those groups. Um, and, you know, I, I think that, that works. And then down here, I've got sort of like the other uh, sort of Decepticons who kind of fit with the scavengers for different reasons, but aren't scavengers. So like, you know, Battle Trap goes with Flywheels and Flywheels is up there and Spinister goes with Needle Nose and Needle Nose is, you know, it's just... I don't know, I'll probably like put those together at some point and, in, in, you know, for the sake of making space for other things. But for now, I think that that works out. And then we've got the kind of like miscellaneous other Autobots here. Um, most of the same figures. Again, I've moved some of them off onto their like own displays. The only thing that's new here is, uh, well, not new, but just new as being new for being out on display is I added a uh, Centuritron, the Thrilling 30 Minicon Combiner. 
back there. And then over here, similarly to, you know, the one shelf that I have, which is kind of Decepticons from like other newer continuities, this is kind of the the very small Autobot version of that with uh, animated Prowl and uh, and strong arm there from R.I.D. I prefer the R.I.D. version. I'm not really going to plan on getting that new version. And then Javelin from the uh, from the comics there. And then Windblade could go with them, but I, <laughs> at least for now, I'm still kind of hanging on to the, uh, you know, red and black and blue uh female Autobots with circles behind their shoulders team here, <laughs> adding Road Rage in with them. I think that they still look good together. I think that once we get that new uh, Windblade from uh, from Legacy United, Unity, I can't remember, United? I think it's United, yeah. Uh, that she's probably gonna go up there with them. And then uh, it, uh, also, according to the leaks, we're gonna be getting a new Road Pig sometime next year to put with Road Rocket. So this team will probably disband pretty soon. But for now, I like having the three of them together. And then over on this shelf, which is kind of slowly but surely changed into a, a beast shelf, uh, more, more than not, I moved the fossilizers over here. Currently, I have the two, uh, like, see-through guys as part of the combiner rather than how I had it before with Paleotrex and Ractonite. I, I really wish we ever got a clear version of Wingfinger so that, you know, Wingfinger could be out on his own and then we could have just, like, the clear combiner. I think that that would really round out these guys nicely. And... I don't know. I mean, they've released really old figures <laughs> like while a while later before. So maybe we'll eventually, I don't know, but for now it's fine. Um, and then we still have the Transformers Prime Predacons down here. This is where I ended up moving these sort of like alt universe Maximals, the sort of quote unquote shattered glass Maximals is how I think of them over here. The RID guys, I think were there before, if not on that specific cubicle, but over here. Uh, Dinobots are the same, season three. Decepticons are the same. And then instead of that little brown shelf that I had here before, I uh, ended up getting these two new shelves, which added a lot more space. Um, uh, yeah, so this one is mostly Beast Machines related, aside from the top here being uh, Optimal Optimus and Transmetal 2 Megatron. I think they look good here. I might end up putting Deathsaurus here when, when he eventually comes out, because I feel like that that would be a good spot for him uh, to kind of shine and then put these guys somewhere else. I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And then we've got the Beast Machines Maximals down here and the quote-unquote Beast Machines Predacons down there and then the Viacons at the uh, the bottom there. And then I got this new tall shelf, which I, I had a previous version of and I still have that shelf downstairs, but it's just a, another version of the same shelf that I already had. Um, and at the bottom here, I put the sort of like people built Transformers at the bottom there, kind of like how they were before. And then I separated out these two groups of dinosaurs that were on that brown shelf to now have the uh, Beast Machines Dinobots on one shelf and then the uh, the uh, Beast Wars Neo Dinosaur Predacons here. Gonna have to figure out something different for them once we get a Commander Class Magmatron. I did, that's exciting. <laughs> but he's definitely gonna go with them and they're gonna have to be on a bigger shelf for when that happens. And then we've got the uh, Decepticons from the movie toy line up here. And then I move my pretenders back over here. I think that they just look better on a smaller shelf. And then obviously uh, switched out the, uh, you know, the uh, Hunt for the Decepticons, Revenge of the Fallen, whatever, bludgeon for the new one. I think that they look really good together. And then I did, this is where I just ended up putting the rest of my Armada Minicons, the ones that I didn't have like a good spot for. And then this shelf, which previously, like I said, was that Scramble City shelf. Now I've got... The, uh, the Japanese Autobots on top here who get to spread out a little bit more and you can actually see all of them. So I think that that works out pretty well. Got my uh, my Junkions here and obviously added uh, Trash Master there. And again, you know, they needed a little bit more space to breathe. So I'm glad that I got that for them. And then these two bottom shelves are just kind of the, you know, generic other miscellaneous Decepticons just kind of spread out there kind of making room so that I can combine them later if I need to to make space for something else but kind of like really funky colored ones up here got Toxitron I don't think I had him last month but they look good together and then these guys I all had before but you know that's what they look like together and that's it for the canon display uh, in terms of uh, the main sort of non-canon display here I think the only difference is I got uh, animated sound wave so I put him in with them and then I think the rest of it is the same and then moving on to the rest of the room here I think all of this is the same and then for the masters of the universe display the main section is the same but 
uh, the shelf, which was once previously the kind of like Lego shelf until I moved, uh, you know, the mega construct masters of the universe guys down there. Uh, I kind of just decided to make this more of a more masters of the universe stuff. So I put the pop finals there on the second shelf and then Prince Adam on the sky sled. And then, you know, the toy accurate merman and, uh, and Sorceress there, which were the only two Origins figures I didn't have out for display before, just because, you know, I had space for them, figured I might as well get them out. And then uh, the, the Lego stuff mostly went somewhere else. The droids from, you know, a while ago now aren't on display. I moved the little, uh, you know, ocean mock over here, just kind of on my bedside table. And then the uh, the Mars stuff is uh, is downstairs. But yeah, that's it for this room. Moving in here to the miniatures display, not going to spend nearly as much time here as I did in the uh, in the last one, but just a, a couple things that were added here. I, uh, I painted these uh, these little rhino warrior guys and put them up here. Uh, added a few things. I had this set of um, like, it was like the Magic the Gathering board game, which I got on like a liquidation sale. At when when Toys R Us was closing, and it, it's really bad. It's just like a knockoff of Hero Escape, basically. But it did have some nice miniatures in it, uh, so I put uh, put them out for display. That guy's one of them. The rhinos are too, but they were unpainted. All the minions were unpainted, so I just like dug out that set and decided to do some miniature painting. So I painted uh, those guys there. I think everything here. Oh, here we go. Here's another one of those leader guys in the back there. But the rest of these guys are the same as they were before. Uh, down here, again, the elf guy in the back there with the clear stand is one of those guys. The rest are the same. And then over here, got some uh, 3D printed mushroom men that I added over here. And some 3D printed rock guy. And actually, they might have been here before, yeah. But I did add these, uh, these fire guys, which were also from that Magic the Gathering board game. And again, the one with the clear stand over there, add them to this side. I also have this little space carved out for these... Uh, these swamp guys that I'm currently working on, but don't have them out yet. And uh, that guy with the clear stand is another one of those. But yeah, that's it. And then this little 3 printed robot up here added in with that. And I think that's it. I think the rest of this is the same. Yeah, so that's it for this room. But those are the new miniatures added to this display. Then moving into the little kitchen display here on the top, I finished another one of my little painted frog guy, so put him in the back there. I uh, got that little purple bear guy from five below, so I put him on this shelf. Uh, this stuff is all the same, and then I moved the Gamer Edition Optimus Prime and Bumblebee uh, down here uh, so I could make space for the, uh, you know, Armada Universe Megatron and Optimus Prime. And then down here where that Lego Minecraft display was, I ended up moving that somewhere else and just put, you know, this sculpture that I made a while ago just kind of as a a placeholder, but that's it for this area. It's kind of a small section here. Then moving on to the main living room space, one of the, uh, the big changes here was that brown shelf that I previously had upstairs. I moved down here because I got some of the Lego Dream sets and wanted to get them out for display. Uh, for a while, I had them down there where the Minecraft stuff, Minecraft Lego stuff used to be, but then I just, you know, I don't go in the, like, I don't get to see the stuff in the kitchen often enough, so I was finding that I was kind of forgetting about it, even though it was you know, new sets that I was really excited about. So I wanted them a little bit more kind of out for display. So I got them here. Uh, so we got the treehouse and the turtle van down there and then the Pegasus and then some of the other stuff that came, you know, the like smaller, the side builds that came with the other sets down there as well, kind of the good guys and the evil guys. And then, you know, maybe I'll get some more dream stuff at some point and fill in the bottom shelf here. But just kind of as a placeholder, I've got, I moved the, uh, the Lego Life on Mars stuff down here, just so it'd all be Lego related. Um, but yeah, that's this shelf. Uh, this main shelf is the same, I imagine, as it was before. And then the only difference over here on these shelves is I ended up uh, moving out the uh, the little, like, real littles guys that were here before, just because I felt like they just took a little bit too much space, were a little bit too distracting, I put them elsewhere. And then uh, the only other difference down here is that little moving van in the back uh, was a gift with purchase set that I got when I got the uh, the Dreams sets, and I really liked that set. Uh, so I put that out for display as well. And again, needed to move those real littles off of here, so I had space for that. And then uh, this kind of like TV stand ended up being quite a bit different. I ended up moving just kind of like the... Uh, the boxes and stuff that were stored in there before and putting all the Lego Minecraft stuff there kind of in the background. So it's kind of 
you know, you don't really get to see it all a lot because there's lots of stuff in front of it, but you can kind of see it there looming in the background, which I think works out. And then I put all the real littles kind of lined up here. I think that works a little bit better. Uh, moved these guys back kind of sort of where they used to be just now in front of that and then move the uh, the Sorozoic Warriors over here. I think that that all pops pretty well. And then down here with all the like, you know, the PlayStation, the Wii in the back there, I moved, you know, the two sort of Nintendo guys down there and got the uh, Armada Universe, Megatron and Optimus Prime back there. And I think that they look really good here. I think that that really pops. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I did get... Uh, I did get G1 Brawn and put him over there. It's kind of broken. I didn't realize but when I bought it, it's missing an arm. So that's kind of a shame. I wouldn't have bought it otherwise, but eh, whatever. Still looks fine in truck mode. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. Unicron is, is back in planet mode, but that's pretty much everything here. And uh, yeah, that's it for the month. Uh, well, the last two months, I guess, really. Thanks for watching the video if you made it this far. Uh, I do reviews every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Make sure to check me out on my Instagram account. That's toys.n.art. And without further ado, here we have our collection update for October 2023.